What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Um, be aware of it and take care of it. There's something that you could be ignoring, you could be feeling a certain way and you're ignoring it. Um, bring it up to your peripheral, to your consciousness and tell yourself, I feel blankety blank blank. You know, address it because I feel like the more you keep pushing it down, the stronger the feeling is going to get. Can sees. All right. All right, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. So I am going to do your general. And I'm pulling from the index cards that I created and another oracle card. Are you doing with a Leo? Because they had to go to the park. Bottom of the deck is you can trust this. Okay, so there could be something that you're second guessing or it's giving you like the whiffles of like, what is this going on? You're good. All right, look within. I feel like there's something within you that um, is you know you got to look at i don't want to say the issue because you know we all have stuff that we have to work on everyone and if anybody says that they don't they lying all right um love is here bad intentions talk less why is this bad intentions here oh why is the past here all right so i feel like you need to talk talk less and listen more when it comes to your past because i feel like your past is trying to confuse you i feel like they have bad intentions all right but i feel like there's love this this other situation you could trust okay you got to look within though and stop denying it all right this was on top let's get jiggy with it all right let me shuffle these first All right, the first card you have is adjust and go to the park, all right? So I feel like there is a shift or a change that is happening or that's going to happen um, when it comes to your stability. Um, it doesn't have to be, but the park, that's what I kind of created that for, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and I feel like the universe wants you to ground yourself. I feel like something could be happening like out of the blue or really, or kind of quickly for your taste. And I feel like the universe wants you to like go ground yourself, go for a walk, um, go to a park if you can, but be outside to kind of just like, like kind of just get better energy and just kind of relax. What is this? The delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is good, natural, and yes, it can hurt. Yeah, I feel like you could be really emotional about this. Um, it could be like you have to separate yourself from some people that you're really close to. Um, but I feel like this is good and natural and it needs to happen, KK. And change is the only constant. Remember that. So change is the only thing that's going to always happen, like us breathing. You know, like there's no way of controlling that. I mean, whatever. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean, okay? Anyways, adjust, go to the park. And um, the delicate fairy in her ferrets. What is this spirit? Could be dealing with a Taurus or have it in your chart. The Tower in reverse, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is a Devil or a Capricorn. Um, yeah, it's time for you to go. You should have left yesterday. Okay? Okay, this Devil energy is here. Me no likey. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo. They had the Devil energy too. Um, I feel like your intuition is telling you that you're avoiding something. You know what this is, Cancies. You're avoiding it, okay? There's a there's an ending that needs to happen. And I feel like you're avoiding it because it requires a transformation. It requires a big shift. A big shift. That maybe you feel like you're not ready for, but you are. You absolutely are. And you need to stop playing around, okay? You have the devil here. This, this energy is trying to make it seem like you can't. This energy is trying to make it seem like, oh, you have no choice but to be here. Like, what you, 
like I don't know you you need to leave there's no if ands or buts about that Kansas. okay the world doesn't inverse the sun is inverse in the ace of cups i feel like the universe what the frick bro this could be another cancer and aquarius the universe has your wish like it's there so what is some of y'all think we're just about to bring you something to give you like momentum to like speed it up my guy okay because i feel like there's a cycle here that needs to be closed and i feel like you're just content you're, you're like like i feel like you're not rushing it because you're just like oh it's not that bad you know like it's not that bad with the sun in reverse but this energy it it, it is this energy makes it seem like it's not that bad this energy makes it seem like um it's better here than out there this energy makes it seem like it's so hard to get out of it that's what the devil energy does that's that negative energy trying to keep you stuck so um yeah you need to um change is natural good and yes it can hurt okay just because it hurts doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing it okay you learn we learn through our pain all right um and I, like i get it like i'm not saying like i don't everybody's been in the devil energy before like this energy is not you know I, i've released myself from the devil energy before um and yeah it was not a smooth ride <laughs> you know but the issue is that even when you try to escape the energy it 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 it's it like tries to like throw little things to like once it sees you unchaining yourself and realizing that you're actually stuck it tries to like throw things at you and it you know tries to distract you and, and tries to confuse you like you i i had to really sit there and like tunnel vision like no nope, i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm gonna do my da, ba, da, ba. <laughs> like yo i was really like on some savage energy but that's what you have to be like because if you give if you give the devil energy even a little whiff even a little door a little slither it's gonna wiggle its way in and it's gonna be so hard to get it out what is that is there like something that is really hard to get out once it gets <laughs> oh lice right it's a whole process it's kind of the same thing so you know like you have to like it's like in order for you to get out of it you have to be beast mode you have to do it like cutthroat canties legit i'm not even and but i will say though that once you get out of this energy you're gonna have such a more respect for yourself and more love for yourself and you're gonna look at yourself like you that mother effing person you understand like you're gonna like just feel the confident the strength that you feel because one you're out of this energy and once you're out of it you realize that you are suffocating or like i don't know how to explain it but <sighs> go savage that's the only way and don't allow not even a crack make sure that you know your little bubble is super freaking tight no air bubbles all right <laughs> okay the next card you have is I want you, you know the answer. All right. So there's somebody here that wants you, but I feel like you're second guessing it. I feel like you're the one that you know the answer because I feel the universe is like telling you like, you know the answer. So why are you asking us? <laughs> you could be like asking your angels like, does this person like, who is it? Like, do they have good intentions? The butterfly effect, ferrets, I am reborn. All right. So there's something about this person that is different okay something has definitely changed about this person um so you are smelling something but i don't feel like it's bad let's clarify like i feel like this person has some type of transformation some type of change what is i want you you know the answer in butterfly for us everything is fine in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse the knight of pentacles in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse okay with the six of pentacles um 
okay i i see why you're acting like i feel like i see why you're asking because like what the freak is this? <laughs> all right so this person um i feel like they're coming off kind of um emotionally detached um like they're not really coming off really like nurturing really caring um there's there's some type of disconnect between you and this person um i feel like this person just finished getting over something that was very painful and i feel like for a long time they were faking it to make it so this person just finished just finished doing that okay um i feel like this person does want to let you in okay now the issue is that this person feels like you don't match their morals or their values so that's why they're not emotionally letting you in um they are going to give you what you give them it's going to be equal give and take they feel like this could be successful but i feel like their ego is stepping in or this emperor is giving me like um like like the energy is stepping into i don't know like i feel like this person is like kind of using kind of operating in their ego a little bit um and kind of not emotionally expressing how they feel because again they feel like you don't match their morals and their values now this could be that maybe your commitment morals and values are different or i don't know it's going to be different for all of you but they also feel the disconnect okay sheesh they're, they're, this this person's gonna reach out to you. It could be a Sagittarius. I don't even. I, I. I don't understand what. I don't understand. This person is like, bro. This person is going through so much stuff. Like I'm gonna. <laughs> they're going through so much stuff. Like they got people around them they can't freaking trust something they just something that they wanted to work out just blew up in their face all right um and then something new that they they, they had in their hand was like taken away and they are not okay and um they but they're open to you though they're open to you they they want to let you in I will be careful here because what the freak? I don't know, Kansies. All right, I don't know. But I'm not really feeling this energy. Like, I'm just not. I'm not. And I feel like this person's energy is, feels the same way to you. Like, it's just kind of confusing. So I don't know, kids. <laughs> but I feel it, okay? I feel what you feel. And you should just create some boundaries because it's like, it's like this person is going through so much stuff. They could be just telling you about it, but it's like, it could be like, they are like trying to like pour all their problems on you or something like that. They are going through some type of transformation. <sighs> I don't know, Kansies. Let's just keep going, KK. Okay, okay. All right. The last card, you got three over here, all right? Which is interesting. So you have be more happy. Luck is on your side. And expense coming up, all right? So I feel like you could be debating on doing something, buying something, purchasing something. Um, I feel like you should do it. I feel like the universe wants you to release control and stop being so <laughs> uptight, okay? <laughs> That's what I felt, so I, I will try to look up another word to say it and like, you know, whatever. When I get the messages, it's, you know, it's the way that I would like my messages told to me and I like things straight and blunt and to the point, so. But I know not everybody, you know what I'm saying, is on that boat, so. <laughs> anyway. What is this spirit? 
brother raccoon a safe place to go oh my gosh you could yes do it buy the thing go to the place uh i don't know but i feel like you should do it it's a good idea i feel like you're gonna find comfort in doing it what is this this energy is confusing over here bro justice in reverse the queen of swords the five of cups in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse with the chariot in reverse what the freak is going on oh there's a better way <laughs> there's a better way can see you could be dealing with another cancer or a libra but i feel like you were about to um invest in something that was going to do you dirty with the justice in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse and i feel like with luck on your side you you're lucky and or the universe brought you a lucky opportunity or a lucky thing and i feel like the universe is saying it's a smart choice to do this you won't regret it the cherry in reverse the king of wands and the high priestess your intuition is telling you to do this oh my gosh the lovers is here some of you guys, this might lead you to um, a connection with someone that you feel very spiritually connected to here. Or like maybe this is the route to this person or to meeting this person. I feel like the universe is telling you like we're stopping everything else because this is the way that you're supposed to go. I feel like the universe stopped this justice in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse from happening. And you could have been like, you could have felt like, dang, what am I going to do now? Um, and... The universe is, is, you know, is literally going to bring it to you. Um, but I feel like you could trust it. It could be about a brother as well with this brother raccoon here. But it doesn't have to be. Or a Gemini or a Pisces. Um, but I feel like you could trust it. And you should do it. And yeah, just freaking do it. <laughs> if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But you should. Okay, they're saying it's a safe place for you to go. It's safe. All right, what is a just go to the park and um, the delicate fairy and her ferrets? You have trapped. We're never really trapped and chaos. Yeah, you're telling yourself you're trapped because if you get out, you're going to cause a riffraff. But what did I tell you? What did I say earlier? I said, what did I say? <laughs> uh, I said, you're going to have to get rowdy. You're going to have to get crazy. That's the only way out. You you know those action movies and those um those like movies like where people like you know have to fight for their life and they get crazy savage mode. That's what you need to be on, Kansies. And it might feel a little bit uncomfortable and it, and it might you know it, you know it's not a it's not a walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? But if you're focused on the goal, there ain't no stopping you. Okay. Okay. What is I want you and you know the answer, the butterfly ferrets. Yes, yeah, spirit. What is this energy? You have a high priestess of spirit. You're you know what to do with this person, and you have honesty. The universe wants you to be honest with yourself. It could be that this person is trying to confuse you or something like that. But you have a higher knowing. It's like you see this person coming before they come in, or you know what they're doing, or something like that. Like use your focus. They don't want you to get distracted okay this person could be a distraction um what's be more happy expense coming up luck is on your side and brother raccoon you have the high priestess of earth this could be a Taurus Virgo capricorn that you can't trust and playful um i feel like the universe wants you to be more light-hearted light-hearted <laughs> be more light-hearted um, don't take things so seriously right now. Go with the flow of things here. Deceit. Yeah, because I feel like you're taking... I mean, I get it. It sucks, but you were... It was not good where, wherever you were planning. You know, this situation, this new idea or this thing that the universe is bringing to you is a lot more relaxed, more chill. Okay, like I feel like you're going to be able to just be calm be at ease is what this playful energy is giving okay this could be an aries um or a pisces all right cancer all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive cancers i forgot um i have to tell you guys that 
there's gonna be some changes to my channel um i already recorded your readings early in the week last week which is why i didn't get to tell you but there are gonna be some changes to my channel um instead of me doing the like extra three that i do the generals are gonna stay every single 12 zodiac signs going to get a general once a week um but the extra ones that i used to do with the black charms i'm not gonna do those anymore um, what I will do is I'll do more collective readings during the week. Like, I'll just sprinkle them here and there. Um, um, I'm also going to do more collective love readings. Um, and then towards the end of the week, like always, I'll do all 12 signs. Um, probably a love reading and then, you know, a person, not a person, but like a, a self-evaluation topic. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, I did a whole spiel. <laughs> on um why i created these changes um if you want to know that watch the aries reading that i did last week that's what i saw that was the first reading that i did so i poured everything out in that one but i'm not really going to reiterate everything but i just wanted to let you guys know that those changes are coming so you guys are aware um also on instagram i do i am going to start posting more on instagram so you guys want to follow me on that you can i have um the information in the description box and i'm also on tiktok now so you guys can also catch me on there for more extra messages okay all right bye